What's up guys, Tej here and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can create this long shadow effect inside of Adobe After Effects. Also, if you are new to this channel, then definitely follow me on Instagram and Facebook page as well. So without any wasting a time, let's get started. So first of all, let me take a new composition by pressing Ctrl or Command N. So let me rename it to something like long shadow. As always, 1920 by 1080 pixels. Let me take it as 10 seconds and hit OK. So after creating a new composition, first things first, we need to create a new solid layer by pressing Ctrl or Command Y if you are on a Mac. So let me press Ctrl Y as I am on PC. So I am choosing this light blue color. Hit OK. Now as you can see this, we have created our new solid layer. So let me add a text to it. I am writing my channel name. Let me align it to center. After doing this, let's select this text layer. Right click on it. Go to create. And choose create shapes from text. Now as you can see this we have each individual shapes of our text. So let's now go to the add. Choose repeater. And let's drop down this repeater properties. And drop down this transform repeater one. So as you can see this right now we have three copies of our text. So let me change its X position to one. And Y position also at one. And I am changing this copies to something like 500. Okay, so as you can see this, we have not covered our text with uh, our solid layer. So let me change it to something like 600. Okay, so as you can see that we have covered our screen with the text. Now let's deselect it. So as you can see this we have text and our shadow ready but we can't see our text right now. So what we have to do is let's enable this text layer and let's select and bring above this layer. So now let's select this layer and change its color to something like white. Now we can see our text and shadow perfectly. So now to create an animation, let's bring down this outlines properties and let's put this keyframe of copies on by clicking this small stopwatch icon and let's drag this to something like one second and let's place this another keyframe on the very first frame and change this copies value to zero. Now as you can see this, we have created our animation so let me render this. So as you can see this we have created our final animation. But before ending this tutorial, let's select this both keyframe and let's go to this graph editor. Let's select this both keyframe by just dragging on it. Okay, so that looks perfect for me. Let's again switch back to the timeline. So here you can see this our final output. So that's it for this video guys and hope you all enjoyed. If this video found helpful to you, then definitely like, share and subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions regarding this tutorial, then definitely let me know in a comment box as below. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the next one.